Hello everybody, this is the Bulldozer. And thank you for watching one of my videos. Today's video we're going to talk about the pre-order status for Infinite Warfare and how extremely bad it is right now. You know, the last time I looked at the dislikes for YouTube, Infinite Warfare was at 2.7 million dislikes. You know, and people say, you can't go by that, you know, there are people creating accounts just to dislike it, and, you know, they want to see how high they can get the number, and, you know, that could be true. But I, me personally, I think a lot of that dislike is because people are sick and tired of Activision trying to pull every dollar out of their pockets they can. You know, they don't like the fact that in order for you to get Modern Warfare, you've got to buy Infinite Warfare. And you gotta pay not $60, you gotta pay at least $80 to get it. And then on top of it, it comes in a download code. You don't get the disc. A lot of people like to have their disc and uh, you don't get it you have to download the entire game in order to get it and I think that's where a lot of these dislikes come in well the numbers I'm going to talk to you about are coming from VG charts and I'll put a link to that page in the description of this video and we'll be one of the numbers from Black Ops 2 to Infinity War or I'm sorry uh, Infinite Warfare and you'll see exactly how bad the pre-order is for Infinite Warfare. Let's go ahead and get into these numbers. Now on May 19, 2012, for Black Ops 2, Xbox 360 was 70,725 pre-orders. For the PlayStation 3, 45,247 pre-orders. For a grand total of 115,972 pre orders. On May 18, 2013, the ghost numbers. The Xbox 360, 59,960 pre orders. For the PlayStation 3, 44,596 pre orders. For a grand total of 104,556 pre orders. On May 17th, the Advanced Warfare. Now, everybody knows how much everybody hated Advanced Warfare. They did not want the boost jumping. And that's what the main reason why everybody hated Advanced Warfare. For the Xbox One only, those numbers are 36,030 pre-orders. For the PS4, those numbers are 31,162 pre-orders. For a grand total of 67,192 pre orders. Black Ops 3. These numbers are off the charts. May 16th of 2015, for the Xbox One only, 423,456 pre orders. For the PS4 only, 287,509 pre-orders. That is a grand total of 710,965 pre-orders. Wow. That brings us to Infinite Warfare. On May 14th, 2016, the Xbox One only numbers is 30,000 455 for the PS4 only 33,014 for a grand total of 63,469 pre-orders the last five Call of Duties this is the worst that Call of Duty has ever done on their pre-order status right now and what I mean by right now is the fact that 63,469 
Now the last five Call of Duties, they have not done. Their pre-orders have been more than that. Advanced Warfare being the closest at 67,192. All the other ones have been over 100,000 pre-orders for, for this time period in May. But you look at Black Ops 3, you take Infinite Warfare, Advanced Warfare, goes to Black Ops 2, and you put all those numbers together and double it, you still do not equal the numbers in Black Ops 3. But I think people are really getting fed up with the Call of Duty franchise, you're getting fed up with Activision trying to, to take money away from you with the supply drops and it's pay to win and all that stuff. You know, I, I think people are going to start saying enough's enough and they're going to go find another game to play like Battlefield. But tell me what you think. Leave your comments below. This is Bulldozer. Get your killing on. And I'm out of here.